Now, we are going to see multiplying by a three digit number. The question is multiply, that is 517 into 600. So, 1 stands 100, this is the three digit number. 1 stands 100, this is a three digit number. We are going to do the sum. Let's start the problem. Okay. Now we are going to solve the problem. So look at this 517 1 stands 100 multiplied by 600. See I have told you already if you have zeros so you should not consider the zeros. Uh, first you have to multiply you have to multiply only the numbers then finally how many zeros are present in the digit you have to suppose one digit one digit means only one zero is here suppose two digit means you have two zeros here so here two digit it is all the two digit, next sorry all the two digits are zeros i'm sorry once again i'll repeat so 517 into 600 so this is one stands 100 this is three digit number this also three digit number so multiplying by a three digit number so 517 multiplied by 600 so 600 how many zeros there are two zeros ones place and tens place both are zeros so what you're going to do the simple method better you uh, don't consider the uh, first you don't consider the zero first step you have to multiply only the numbers step one you have to multiply only the numbers first multiply the numbers that means six is going to multiply by 517 six is going to multiply by that is 100 place value this is six six hundreds that is what 100 place value six is going to multiply by 517 then you will get the answer and finally how many zeros in 600 there are two zeros add the zero at the end of the number at the end of this at the end of this at the end of the portion you have to add the two zeros with the answer this is the exact method I just said orally I'm going to do practically look at this sum so first one one stands hundred one stands hundred so I've told you the first step you have to ignore the zeros first you have to multiply only the numbers so ones plus zero hundred plus zero so just uh, ignore the zero consider only the number so 6 is going to multiply by 517 so what is the number 6 7s are 42 but what you're going to do you have to write this is a hundred place number so ones place and tens place just leave it just uh, don't consider you have to write the uh, numbers only in the hundred place value so you should not write what any numbers in ones place and tens place that is what i mentioned you but you have to multiply by 100 so whatever number comes 6 into 7 42 so 46 into 7 what you will get 42 so 2 this 2 only you must write in 100 place directly you must write only in the 100 place value okay you must write this 2 is only in the 100 place value next so what are you going to do? 6, 7, 0, 42 and 2 the carryover is go to the what? Tens place value. Next is what is this? Uh, that is 1, 6 are 6 or 6, 1 are 6, 6, 4 are 10 and 0 then carryover is go to the 100 place. So 6, 5 are 30, 30 plus 1, 31. Now we are going to add how many zeros are remaining, how many zeros? only two zero because we are going to multiply by 600 600 means we have two zero you must add the two zero at the end of the answer okay so three one zero two double zero three one zero two double zero three one zero two double zero one tens hundred thousand ten thousand then lakhs so i've told you you have to just what leave the last three digit after that you have to you have to put the comma for two two digits so here only one digit so three lakhs ten thousand two hundred this is the right answer for the question this is one method i'll repeat once again we are going to multiply three digit number so three digit number that is mean 517 517 one tens 100 517 is a three digit number into 600 600 is also three digit number but 600 you have two 600 means you have to write at the last you have to write two zeros so if it is it's an easy method i'm going to teach you an easy method so what i'm going to tell you first you don't consider the zeros at the last you have to add the zero that means you have to step one what is the step one you have to multiply only the numbers that means you have to multiply by 517 uh, 517 into 6 517 517 that means 517 is multiplied by 6 
then you can get this answer and after that you have to add what how many zeros are there two zeros just add the two zeros as it is okay that is the right uh, and easy method that is what i taught you next is here look at this number otherwise the normal method means nothing it is also very very easy that is 517 into 600 is a normal method means what you're going to do first is multiply by 0 after that you have to multiply by tens so ones place also 0 tens place also 0 so 0 into 7 0 1 into 0 that 0 into 1 0 0 into 7 I'm going to multiply by ones so ones place what is the number 0 0 into 7 0 0 into 1 0 0 into 5 0 next again I'm going to multiply by tens place value what is the number in tens place value 0 so ones place you must put 0 is a normal method then 0 into 7 0 and 0 into 1 0 0 into 5 0 this is ones this is what is this this is tens place value I finished now I'm going to the hundred place. What is the number in hundred place? Six. So ones place zero, then tens place zero. So I'm going to multiply by hundred place. What is the number in hundred place? Six. I'm going to multiply six by 517. Six sevens are 42. It is hundred place two and four is carry over. Carry over go to the tens place. So ones six are one. Uh, sorry, one six ones are six and uh, one six are six. So I'm going to multiply by six. So six into one six or one into six, six both are same. So one six into one six, six plus four ten zero. Then carry over is go to the hundred place. So six five are thirty, thirty plus one thirty one. Now zero zero two zero one thirty one. So the same answer I got it three one zero two double zero one tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakhs so i've told you last three digits you have to just left over you should not that is one tens and one tens hundred just left over after the hundreds you have to put two two what two two digit you have to consider only the two two digit you have to put a comma for the next two two digits but here only one digit so i put a comma so one tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakhs so three lakhs ten thousand two hundred this is the right answer this is a what simple method this is a normal method so which is very convenient for you you have to choose and do the method Now I'm going to tell you this sum that is 475 into 169. This is three digit number 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. This is three digit number. This is also three digit number. I'm going to multiply what? It's a normal multiplication. Simple and normal multiplication. That means simple means there is no regrouping it is not a regrouping method it is a very very normal multiplication i am going to it's a simple multiplication it's a regrouping method this is method 2 this is method 2 i have done it already i'll explain you it is a regrouping regrouping this is without without regrouping this is without regrouping that means it is a normal multiplication let's start the sum so first i'm going to tell you 475 into 169 i'll uh, write it very clearly okay fine i think you understand i start with that first I'm going to multiply by 9. So this is a ones place number, ones place value. This is a tens place value. This is what? 100 place value. So ones place value is 9 and tens place value is 6. And what 100 place value is 1. So I'm going to multiply what? 475 by 9. So 9 fives are 45, 5. So carryover is go to the top. 
and 9 sevens are 63, 63 plus 4, 63 plus 4, 64, 65, 66, 67, 7 and carry over is go to the 100 place. So here 9 fours are 36, 36 plus 6, 42. Okay, finished. Next ones place is over. Now I'm going to move on the tens place value. I'm going to multiply by 6. So 475 is multiplied by 6. So I've told you already ones place you must put 0. So I'm going to multiply by 6 uh, by 475. Otherwise 475 is going to multiply by 6. Okay, tens place value. 6 fives are 30. So ones place I've put already 0. 6 fives are 30, 0. Then carry over is go to that tens place again. So 6 sevens are 42, 42 plus 3, 45 and carry over is go to the again 100 place. So 6 fours are 24, 24 plus 4, what 28. So tens place is over. Now I am going to move on the 100 place value. So I have put 1 place 0 and tens place 0. So I am going to multiply 475 by 1. So this is a 100 place value, 100 place value is 1. 1 into 5 that is 5. 1 sevens are 7 and 1 fours are 4. Now I am going to add everything. So 5 plus 0 plus 0, 5. 7 plus 0 plus 0, 7. 2 plus 5, 7. 7 plus 5, 12. Carry over is go to the top. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 8, 13. 13 plus 7, 20. 0. Carry over is go to the top. So 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 4, 8. So answer is 80,000. 275 I've told you very clearly last three digit you just left over after that you have to put a comma for two two digit so this is once tens hundred thousand ten thousand eighty thousand two hundred and seventy five is the right answer for the question it is a normal multiplication and a simple multiplication and it's it is a what method one it is method one regrouping method what method it is regrouping method sorry without sorry without regrouping method without regrouping method without regrouping method this is method one now we are going to see method two the same question but we have to follow step one step two step three and step four that means we have to multiply each digit that means First we have to multiply by 1, then we have to multiply by 10, then we have to multiply by 100 and finally add the product. Step 1 multiply by 1, step 2 multiply by 10, step 3 multiply by 100, step 4 add the products. That is what regrouping method. This is without regrouping, it is a simple and normal multiplication. So I, I, you, you know, you have some doubt. Maybe you ask me, ma'am, you have uh, 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 what? I teach very fast. Even um, what? You are you just uh, what? Seven into four, seven into nine, sixty-three. Six into four, twenty-four. Because I'm very thorough in the multiplication table. That is what I, I'm going fast. But I know you people are very small because uh, may, maybe some children are not thorough in the table. So you have to memorize the table thoroughly. Then only you can do this kind of a multiplication, three digit multiplication. It is a large number multiplication. Even three digit multiplication or four digit multiplication. If you want to do with me, definitely in your class you have to do. So thorough the multiplication table. You must memorize the multiplication table thoroughly. That, that Then only you can do the sums easily. Otherwise you can do a lot of mistakes. So go through the videos once or twice or thrice and also thorough the table that means memorize the table thoroughly okay now we are going to do the what method 2 that is what regrouping method regrouping method step 1 number number is 475 into 169 so 1 stands 100 1 stands 100 this is three digit number this is also three digit number step 1 so First 1 stands 100, 475 and 169. So I am going to multiply by 9. That is what I mentioned it. 475 into 9. This 9 in the 1's place value. So I am going to multiply by 9. So 9 5's are 45. 5 the carry over is go to the 10's place. And 9 7's are 63. 63 plus 4. That means 64, 65, 66, 67. So I have written 7 and 6 carry over go to the 100 place. 9 and 4s are 36, 36 
प्लस सिक्स थर्टी सेवन थर्टी एट थर्टी नाइन फोर्टी फोर्टी वन फोर्टी टू दैट मीन्स फोर्टी टू सो दैट मीन्स वॉट इज द नंबर फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव यू शुड नॉट वॉट ड्रॉ द लाइन बिकॉज इट इज द राइट मेथड सो वी हैव टू कंटिन्यू कीप ऑन दैट इज वॉट यू शुड नॉट अंडर लाइन आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट इज वॉट आई अंडर लाइन दिस नेक्स्ट स्टेप टू सो द सेम नंबर एज इट इज यू हैव टू राइट सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई वन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई टेन वॉट इज द नंबर इन टेन्स प्लेस सिक्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई सिक्स सिक्स फाइव आर थर्टी वन प्लेस ऑलरेडी आई हैव डन ऑलरेडी आई पुट जीरो सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ वॉट टेन्स प्लेस सो आई एम गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई फोर हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव बाई सिक्स सिक्स फाइव आर थर्टी जीरो कैरी वर्ज गो टू द टेन्स प्लेस सो सिक्स सेवन आर थर्टी सॉरी सिक्स सेवन आर फोर्टी टू सिक्स सेवन आर फोर्टी टू फोर्टी टू प्लस थ्री फोर्टी टू प्लस थ्री फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी फोर फोर्टी फाइव फाइव कैरी वर्ज गो टू द हंड्रेड प्लेस सिक्स फोर आर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस फोर ट्वेंटी एट सो आंसर इज ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव इंटू सिक्सटी वाई शुड आई हेव रिटन सिक्सटी इयर दिस इज अ वॉट दिस नंबर इज अ टेन्स प्लेस सो टेन्स प्लेस मीन्स सिक्स सिक्स टेन्स सो सिक्स इंटू टेन सिक्सटी दैट इज वॉट आई हेव रिटन इयर स्टेप टू स्टेप थ्री यू हैव टू राइट द क्वेश्चन एज इट इज सो आई एम गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई ओनली द हंड्रेड प्लेस वैल्यू हंड्रेड प्लेस मीन्स इयर वॉट इज द नंबर वन सो यू हैव टू राइट फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव दैट मीन्स नंबर इज फोर हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव इंटू नाइन या ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड सॉरी या ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड वॉट फाइव हंड्रेड दैट इज आई रिटन फोर हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव इंटू सिक्सटी नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई वन दैट मीन्स हंड्रेड प्लेस वैल्यू वॉट इज द नंबर हंड्रेड प्लेस वैल्यू वन दैट मीन्स वन हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव इंटू हंड्रेड सो आई हेव टोल्ड यू वन प्लेस जीरो एंड ऑल्सो वॉट टेन प्लेस जीरो आई एम गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई फोर हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव बाई वन सो वन फाइव आर फाइव दिस फाइव कम्स अंडर इन हंड्रेड प्लेस वैल्यू दैट इज वॉट आई हेव ऑलरेडी वॉट रिटन वॉट वन प्लेस एंड हंड्रेड वन वन प्लेस एंड टेन्स प्लेस आई हेव रिटन जीरो वन प्लेस एंड टेन प्लेस आई हेव रिटन जीरो ऑलरेडी आई एम गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई वॉट फोर हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव बाई वन वन इज अ हंड्रेड प्लेस वैल्यू सो यू हैव टू राइट दिस नंबर इन ओनली दिस नंबर दैट इज वन इन टू फाइव दिस फाइव मस्ट राइट ओनली इन हंड्रेड प्लेस ओके सो वन फाइव आर फाइव वन सेवन आर सेवन एंड वन फोर आर फोर सो दिस फाइव कम्स अंडर इन हंड्रेड प्लेस बिफोर दैट यू हैव टू put ones place and tens place zero so 475 into 100 why should i have written 100 because one is the 100 place value so that is what one into 100 you can get 100 then step 4 is a add the products step 4 is nothing but add the products add the products okay add the products again you have to write the sum everything so i'm going to add the finally i'm going to add this So first four thousand two hundred seventy five. That is twenty eight thousand five hundred. And what is forty seven thousand five hundred? Everything I've written. I'm going to add five plus zero plus zero five seven plus zero plus seven seven five plus two seven seven plus five twelve. Carry over is go to the top. Four plus one five and five plus eight thirteen thirteen plus seven twenty zero. Carry over two is go to the top. Two plus two four four plus four eight. The answer is eighty thousand two hundred and seventy five. This is the right answer for the question. So both answers are correct. That means it is a normal method without regrouping. This is a regrouping method. Both answers are correct. So which is convenient for you? You can choose any method. But this is a long process. I know that. But at the same time, it's a very very what clear. It is a crystal clear method. Process is taking lot of time. Of course, you have to take lot of time to do the sum. But it's a very what. clear clear method and crystal clear method this is without without regrouping it is a very normal multiplication method